Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is revisiting a previous video I made which was Toggle Reverse Thrust. I'm going to show you a different method for Reverse Thrust which is Hold Reverse Thrust. It's a lot more definite than Toggle. People didn't get along with that Toggle Reverse Thrust or a lot of people didn't. So I'm going to show you a different method for reversing your thrust in aircraft like the A320 and 747 and other aircraft that support it. As you can see, my default cockpit view is slightly different. I have a I had a couple of questions on how to alter your default cockpit view. So I'm going to show you how to do that too. It's actually quite simple. So let's not dilly dally any longer. Let's get on with this video. So I'm in the A320 at Los Angeles International Airport. Let's jump into the cockpit. And first thing I'm going to do is set up a button for hold reverse thrust. So press escape. You get to options. Go to control options. Controls options. Ensure your flight yoke or flight controller is selected. In filter, show all by left clicking this right arrow key. And that will show all the possible controls you can set up. Like I said before, there's hundreds of them. But we're interested in reverse thrust. So in this search bar, search by name, left click in that box and start typing in reverse. That's all you need to type in in this, just reverse. You can see here the option to set a button for hold reverse thrust has come up. I'm going to set the red button on my flight yacht system. You can set whatever you want, but I'm going to use this button for hold reverse thrust. So left click in the box. Left click in start scanning. And click whatever button you want to use for hold reverse thrust. Don't worry, in my case, it's set already to decrease drone translation speed. When I'm in the cockpit camera, it's not going to affect this setting I've got. So don't worry about that. Press validate. And apply and save to apply those settings to your profile and simulator. Go back. Resume. Once again, in the cockpit, I'm going to employ some throttle, release the parking brake. So we're moving forward. Say, for example, we've just come in to land. Let it get up to speed a little bit. There we go, that will do. So I'm going to press my brakes, employ some reverse thrust by holding that hold reverse thrust button. And remember, you have to keep your throttle employed to employ reverse thrust. You have to have some throttle for it to start uh, using reverse thrust. If you look now, you can see the aircraft is actually reversing. So I'm still holding in the button for hold reverse thrust. And as you can see, that works fine. So I'll release that button. Once I release it, I'll start moving forward again because I've still got some throttle employed. So I've come into land. Going to start braking and pressing the button for hold reverse thrust. You can see how quickly that stopped. If I keep holding the button for hold reverse thrust, the aircraft starts reversing. So that's how you would set up and use hold reverse, reverse thrust in aircraft that support it. Let's just stop that completely, put on the parking brake and pop outside. Let's now show you how you can alter your default cockpit view in Flight Simulator 2020. So here I am in my Cessna 172 and this is my usual 
default view. In fact, this is the default cockpit view that you would have if you load into a Cessna aircraft. So I'm going to show you now how you can alter that so you can actually have your default view the way you prefer it. Just press escape, get to options, go to general options, and you want to go down to the camera tab. And in camera, it's pretty much these tabs here, the height, horizontal position, and zoom, where you can alter your default cockpit view. So let's say I want to go a little bit higher in my view. Now, if you, you can just see behind it, it's a bit blurred, but you can see when I move that tab, how it alters the cockpit view just about behind this menu. And I want to move more central in the cockpit. So if I move that tab, you can see it moving behind slightly. And I want to zoom out a bit, get more of a view of my cockpit. That will do. So let's apply and save that. So that's now applied and saved. Go back and resume. And as you can see now, my default cockpit view is now altered to what you see here. Just say, for example, go to general options again and camera. I want my height to be a little bit higher than that. Apply and save. Go back and resume. And as you can see, I'm now looking over the nose of the aircraft and I'm more central and zoomed out than previous. Now, if I were to restart this flight or any flight, this will now be your default view in the cockpit. If you don't like that, you can go to general options, go back to camera and you can reset to default. It's going to reset all your camera uh, your, your camera settings back to default so keep that in mind I'll do it reset to default continue uh, current camera settings will be lost and you'll be reset to default values yep that's fine it's put me back I like the default view the only thing I need to change is that quick view to toggle apply and save and I'm back let's resume Back to the way I normally like it. In fact, now I'm there, I don't like how it's zoomed in quite as much. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I get more of a view of my cockpit. Apply and save. So from now on, this will be my default cockpit view. If I want to look over the nose, I just actually push my hat switch forward. That's the way I do it. But yeah, that's how you would change your default cockpit camera views in Flight Simulator 2020. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Has this been helpful to you? Give it a like if it has. Subscribe for more. Many more of these Flight Simulator videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.